It's the continuation of Flatzoid's response to Professor Dave. We had just finished the argument from Professor Dave that flat earthers always use the eight inches per mile squared. And you cannot see it. The orange line and the green line line up so perfect that you can't even see it. So if you're not happy that a thousand miles is still a short distance in your book, take a look here. I've taken it all the way out to 7,900 miles. It's off by 0.03%. And we move on to how they always say that water is always level. You may already have guessed that what we're looking at here is a water level. This technology, if not quite the plastic, goes back to the ancient Greeks, the Romans, the Egyptians. They all used water to level their buildings out. Not only can it measure levels over long distances, you could do it over half a mile if you wanted to, but also you can measure around corners see that once you get the air out of it just give the hoses a little bit of a shake make sure there's no trapped air in there and you can see that the water finds its own level water finds its own level finds its own level here we go this guy's failing miserably all flat earthers say the same <coughs> two things about water the first is water doesn't curve doesn't and the second curve. is Water finds its own level. Water at rest is level. So water finds its own level is true. Just like when you go to a lake and it's at rest, it's level. Look at that. Is that curving to you? No, water does not curve. It's level. Flat soy there doing the classic flurf thing of always confusing level with flat. Level. The same height at all places, parallel to a flat ground. Flat. At the same height as some reference, constructed as level with. And very in frequency. L, P, 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 L. Level. This is called physics. That's why they have water levels when they do construction of big, pump, of big buildings. Sometimes they even create their own, their own little um, water level of like a hundred meters or something literally from the ground and fill it with water so they can have a level of a hundred meters when doing construction. Why is this Dave? Probably because over a hundred meters the curve of the massive earth in comparison is negligible. Is it because the water curves or is it because water finds its own level? Well, it does do both to be fair, depending on the distances involved. Over a hundred meters, you won't detect the curve, but. but over a hundred miles, you will. Huh. You know, this does also fall under relative density disequilibrium. Oh no, not that one again. We've done that one to death, flat soid. The second phrase is completely meaningless, so the fact that you all say that exact thing verbatim is just one of the many demonstrations that you all blindly repeat what you hear without giving it a moment's thought. Spot on, Dave. And this has been proved time and time and time again. Every time you hear a flat earther say that there cannot be an atmosphere without a container. System insulated from the outside world, and we have two bulbs. And there's a valve between them. And so we have gas and we have vacuum. So the jewel free expansion involves opening this valve and asking what happens when this gas moves into the other bulb or distributes between the two. Well, since the gas is expanding into vacuum, no work is done. Since it's isolated, no heat is added. As for the first phrase, stating that water doesn't curve is at least a coherent thought. How okay, first of all, problem. Telling us the second part of the statement is not relevant and it doesn't mean anything. Uh, it's the same statement as water doesn't curve. 
because level does not curve, Dave. It's no part higher than the other. Well, actually, level does curve. Level definition. Having a flat horizontal surface. Give a flat and even surface. The same height as someone or something else. Since when does horizontal or flat curve? Let's go look what flat definition is. Flat. Having a level surface. Hmm. Without raised areas or indentations. Hmm. Into a horizontal position. A flat, the flat part of something. No curve. Let's see what's horizontal. A parallel to the plane of the horizon. So horizon is horizontal, guys. At right angles to the vertical. Ouch, you know, elevation angles. Mm -hmm. A horizontal line or plane. Being involved in the same level. No curve. If something is always a certain level above water, let's say for example a piece of rope, then after a while that rope will begin to curve. It will curve yet remain the exact same height above the water. <laughs> what we have here, Dan, is ropes. Now you say they would be curving with the earth. Now tell me something. Uh, which direction are these ropes curving? As far as I know, a sphere would require to curve up. This is going in the opposite direction. Must I go and get a definition for level now as well? Level, a horizontal plane. Or line with respect to the distance above or below the given point. And he just debunked himself right there. A line with respect to the distance above or below a given point. The exact example I just gave a minute ago. <laughs> Does a horizontal line curve, Professor? No. Having a flat horizontal surface, Professor Dave. Okay? So, when you state things like it doesn't curve, it's water finds its own level, you are stating the water from point A to point B is a horizontal plane. Okay, just had to point that out. However, it is dead wrong. Put a drop of water on a piece of wax. This little droplet has what you call surface tension. Yes, but it does debunk the point that water doesn't curve. It doesn't say large bodies of water don't curve, it says water does not curve. These photos clearly show otherwise regardless of the explanation. So, no matter the explanation then, you do know that just shows you to be biased towards the argument. And just because you guys leave out, finds its level or large bodies of water is just you being dishonest. Remember, Dave wrote there, water doesn't curve. Not flat earthers say this. We've all said water seeks its level when at rest. Water tension, aka a water droplet, is not a large body at rest. There's little fine particles and dust and stuff holding onto you. It's holding it. It's like it's like having a group of people holding hands together. You are linked together and you create a circle. It's simply that. It's all the air pressure, remember Heinz? Air pressure is greater than that little droplet with the little dust particles on it, which is giving it water tension. Probably the worst explanation for surface tension I have ever heard. Hence why it's that way. Now, if you had to add another droplet to it, see there really, it's already starting to what? Find its own level. The more water you add to it, the more pressure it creates. The more it's going to get level. That's why hence it finds its own level. Keyword you find. Professor. Well, not Professor, Dave. Wax paper or a leaf. What does it look like? A freaking sphere. 
this is the type of arguments you get from these guys, guys. This, this is it. Um, I don't really, I haven't really seen any, co how can I put it, I haven't seen anything of value from this guy presented and we are number three already. Well, how about this? This is a blob of water in the International Space Station. Now, now of course, this is also water tension, but crucially, why does it have that spherical shape? Why not rectangular or a flat shape? Your device over the target image and your rocket or spacecraft will appear in 3D. Think about that flatsoid. This is a guy that calls himself a professor for Pete's sake. And he can't even bring up an argument that, has, that brings any logic and value to it. It had plenty of value and logic, but you just can't grasp the argument as usual, matey. It's insane. Isn't that something? In your haste to mindlessly parrot what you heard from Flat Earth priests about water, you forgot to look at water. Again, Dave, air pressure around it. Little dust particles. It's called water tension. It's a droplet of water, Dave. I'm not sure what's funnier, the fact that Flatsoid doesn't understand Dave's argument or that he thinks surface tension is caused by dust. Actually no, it's got to do with intermolecular bonds, but I'm simply saying surface tension with dust and particles, so you would have an understanding where the surface is. That's about it. Um, when do you take a water droplet and measure your level with the water droplet? Water curves, my friends. <laughs> okay, water curves, guys, because of water tension of a droplet, guys. This, this is now water curves. But it does. It's on the screen right there. I'm not sure why you're laughing. Why am I laughing? Because you guys think water tension, which causes a droplet, therefore means curved water. No, this simply means the droplet is taking the shape of what's containing it. In this case, the intermolecular bonds with all the particles and things and the air pressure. Show me an ocean curving, please. Now, that's a different question, Flatsoid. Here you go, by the way. Look at this curved meniscus. Look at these waves. Do you see how he has to go past it really quickly? Oh man, I hope I can get into it quickly. Curved meniscus. What is, what is this... Um, container it is in um, what is going on is it not having some tension on the sides hence it seems to be curving a meniscus is more to do with water's adhesion than surface tension alone flatsoid and why is it curving the wrong way dave maybe that's why you had to quickly just poop Pass it by for the people. Again, you're missing the point here. You say that water doesn't curve, and Dave is just showing examples where it does. Is anyone here a doctor? It's curved meniscus. Look. A oh, curved wave. It's a moving water. Water finds its own level at rest. That's why you don't have the word rest in ya. Is that why? So that's kind of dishonest, don't you think? No, I don't, because it doesn't say water finds its own level at rest, does it? Because I'm not going to say you're too dumb to know it's rest, because at least you have an IQ one greater than Sean Hawkins, so you do know it at rest, but you're going to leave that out, you know, because it's moving, that means it's not at rest. Dave? Look at these waves. Water curves all the time. Water is not magic. It is subject to influence by external forces. Yeah, like air pressure, containment, uh, temperature change. Phase changes, yeah, that's why they say at rest. Water lies level at rest. Flat earthers trying to be scientists is just the funniest thing, isn't it? The ad hominem attack. Ad hominem criticism is where instead of criticizing the argument or ideas of the person with whom you are conversing, you criticize the person themselves. It seeks its own level. So when it seeks its own level and it becomes at rest, it lays perfectly level, flat, horizontal, plane. Just like all other matter, with a spherical water droplet, that's the electromagnetic force. Water molecules make hydrogen bonds with one another, which in this context we refer to as cohesive forces. That's why water has a very high surface tension. And ah, he just debunked himself, guys. 
Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. It truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And if you really, really enjoyed it, hit that like button too.